What's up, everybody? This is my new channel. I haven't come up with the name just yet um, at the time of I make this introduction, but hopefully I have them up now. If not, <laughs> I'm going to be working on that. So, anyways, I'm starting this channel. It's going to be a lawn care channel. Basically, I'm just going to go around to people's properties and uh, mow, weedy, do anything that I can to help them out um, for as cheap as possible just so I can do some cool videos, have some fun working outside. That's what I love to do. And maybe I can get around to doing some free projects for people because I know some people just don't have the time for it and it gets out of hand. So I'm going to really try to get um, a time to do that. There's my crazy dog, Everest. And uh, so I'd love to do that. So I'm going to show you in this video kind of what I got to start to show you a couple things. If you really want to get started and do something, it it's, doesn't have to have a lot. You know, you can go with as cheap as just a weed eater and going around asking people. You know, you can do it a lot of different ways. Me, personally, I'm just trying to advertise on, like, Facebook right now. Um, and just getting maybe some friends to help me out by letting me do some things. Um, eventually, hopefully, I'll try to get door-to-door -to -door and do some things. Um, or just word of mouth. Hopefully, people will <laughs> help me out and spread the word. So, uh, anyways, this is going to be the journey of that on this channel. So, stick around and kind of follow that. And uh, we'll see how it goes. You know, it's, it's always worth the shot. I'm really not doing it for like no crazy career or nothing. Just love being outside and doing this kind of stuff. And like making videos. And this is just a different niche that I could get into and try. So, so here's what we got right now. I'm using my grandpa's trailer. He's uh, supposedly selling it to me. So we'll see how that goes. I got to get some money to pay for it first. <laughs> and then uh, I'm borrowing his ramps here for the lawnmower. So I'm going to show you all the stuff that I have at the moment. And what we're going to be hopefully trying to expand and get later. So we've got a couple properties that we're coming up. And I'll make those videos hopefully tomorrow depending on how the weather is and everything um, like that. But right now what I'm working with is just some cheap stuff that I've kind of collected the last summer when I worked at Harbor Freight. So I have a pressure washer here. It's a Predator pressure washer. It's actually a really good pressure washer. And so any pressure washing jobs that I'm going to have to do, I'm going to take that with me. Um, it does really good here. I use it on the car all the time. I used it on the house uh, last summer. And then I have a Atlas pole saw that's sitting in the corner. I got to get it all maintained today. That's what I came out here to do. Get ready for these next videos. Um, but it works really good. They run on batteries. And I have 80 volt Atlas batteries. You can get all that at Harbor Freight. It works great. I'm telling you, those batteries will last you at least an hour or two hours, depending on how much you're doing um, and how fast you're working. I have this weed eater this atlas weed eater the 80 volt or the the bigger version i believe it's the 80 volt i'm pretty sure I, I think there's a 40 and an 80 and i got the 80 volt it lasts i mean i do i have an acre and i can do the entire property with one battery uh one charge so it works great and i'm gonna take about three batteries every property that i go to so i'll have roughly three batteries so about three hours that i can work so if if it's bigger than an acre I should be fine. Um, I also have my Atlas leaf blower. It's 80 volt as well, and that thing is insane. I mean, you'll get to see it on the next few videos, so stick around. If you're interested in these products, I will show you how well they work. If you're looking for some alternative to gas, and you're just doing small properties or small you know, jobs, especially if you're doing it for yourself, these Atlas tools are amazing. Or even if you can find something similar to these tools. I know Lowe's sells some uh, 80 volt tools, and uh, things like that that are really cool that I mean could save you a lot of money on a gas if you if you're not doing it like crazy or if you have enough batteries I mean the batteries are like 60 bucks so I mean if you get enough and you know have enough chargers and everything you could basically run a whole business with just batteries and save a lot of money in gas um, but what I'm gonna try to do is just use those for the small jobs and uh, depending on how it goes I might get something bigger or better better I don't know if I can find better these things work really good um, to take with me to bigger jobs now if I ever got to the point that I'm doing something huge then yeah I would have to have gas probably unless they come out with some really good uh, things like that but I don't know how much we're gonna get to do this week as it's decided to rain sleet and snow the last couple of days here in Kentucky so I mean it's been been like 40 degrees 49 degrees I know like right now it's 45 and like sleeting so I, I don't even know what to do, but tomorrow it's supposed to be 60 and sunny, so we'll see how that goes, and I'm supposed to be going to mow a couple yards tomorrow, so stick around. We might have some yards. We might not. I don't know, but we're going to definitely have some videos 
on here for you for you uh, lawn lovers because I enjoy being outside doing this stuff so uh, I got inspired by the lawn care juggernaut the dude's awesome um, so I wanted to kind of do something similar uh, in my area and I hope that it gets to that point that I can do that for people like that um, but yeah I'm gonna show you what else I got here real quick and then I'm gonna wrap this video up since it's just a lot of me talking and not actually working um, and then the next video stick around because the next videos there's gonna be a lot of work and I'm gonna do as much as possible uh, at these people's houses now some of these places I'm not gonna take all of my big equipment some of these places I'm not gonna take all my small stuff just depends on what we got going on like right now we're in April so you know I may need the leaf blower a little bit but once we get into the fall probably gonna need it a lot more if some, somebody wants me to come clean up leaves you know or the weed eater um, we're in April so hopefully there's not too many lawns that are crazy tall so I might not be able, might not have to use it as much on the property um, and then last thing is my zero turn mower that I got last year now <laughs> my dog that unfortunately passed away got ran over here at our house on our dangerous road she liked to chew up my seat so I'm gonna have to get a new seat for it but I mean it still works fine she just for some reason wanted to get up there and chew it up but I love this mower it's just a little 42 inch residential mower eventually I'll be able to upgrade hopefully if I can do enough um, but it works great I do my lawn with it all the time it's awesome it the gas is okay I mean except for gas being expensive right now it does pretty good so anyways that's my tools I got my zero turn have the lead, the blower sorry couldn't talk for a minute uh, the weed eater pole saw pressure washer and that's my tiller uh, but all of that and then eventually I'd like to expand oh and I bought some stuff I'll show you in the vehicle hopefully don't get slitted on too bad but uh, I'll show you that but that's all of that then I'm gonna start taking with me I'm gonna load it all and get hit with sleep I'm gonna load it all up and we're, I'm gonna be using my fiance's car so she's gonna love that uh, but I'm, we got a hitch on it right now so I'm gonna take it and I'll hold the back this little trailer my zero turn fits on it decent I mean good enough to use it so hopefully eventually we can get a bigger trailer maybe some more tools things like that this sleep stings anyway so let me show you the last thing that we got in here so this bad boy is the 80 volt lithium self propelled uh, lawn mower so it's the battery powered lawn mower does really well especially if you have a small yard um, you can run two batteries in it so two 80 volt batteries and that'll last you longer it doesn't give you more power necessarily but it gives you more run time um, and then let's see we bought some stuff today so you had to excuse like the boys Easter stuff in there if I can find all of it okay so we got lawnmower and then I bought some loppers from Harbor Freight just to get me started in case somebody has things that I can't cut down with the weed eater and then last but not least we have some new ratchet straps so I can ratchet this uh, bad boy lawnmower onto the trailer and hopefully not lose it you know because there's, I'm gonna be doing something with it I'm gonna have my grandpa uh, weld a metal kind of bumper on the back and the front and the side that we already have the the base for it but I want to see if I can add some stuff like hooks and things uh, we'll, we'll see how that goes that's a project that you might see on this channel or not I don't know um, but anyways that's kind of just the gist of what we're gonna do um, and the new channel and what I'm gonna hopefully get done on this channel and I hope that you all can stick around and enjoy it for those that like this kind of stuff um, but other than that that's really all I have I just wanted to kind of show you the simple tools that I have that I'm using that I'm going to start this little business and the two that I got this weekend are actually things that I don't even need the zero turn for so it just shows you that you don't always have to have you know a big lawnmower either I just I got that last year for our yard here and I'm just going to use it for the jobs but if I don't need it I'm not going to take it I'll take the little lawnmower the little feeder, and if I can get by with that then I'm not using any gas money either so you're saving on gas all you have to do is charge them up and all the only expense you're gonna have really at that point is your weed uh, weed eater string and your vehicle. So not too bad, not too bad at all. I'm gonna try to do that.
back this summer and just see how it goes. Have fun with it. Um, so hopefully you all can support me and help me out on this journey. And, uh, now I'm just getting to a big rambling. So anyways, thanks for watching. Please hit that like and subscribe button, especially if you enjoy this kind of stuff. And ring that notification bell so you can keep up with the videos and actually see me doing something on the next one. Uh, but stay tuned.